this finger here, the ring finger, is relationships. And we know, all know how important relationships are. As I say, as we say in this book, you can't do a good deal with a bad partner. That also means you, a person could be a good person, but not a good partner. And I think it's one of the mistakes that many people make is they go into business with kind of friends and all this, but they're not the right mix and not the right sure. partner. I've seen it so many times, Robert, where people, they go to high school, I see it with athletes even, where they take their high school Buddy. roommate or their high school best friend and he ends up, you know, managing the funds. And then after three or four or five years, the athlete realizes his career is now over. Let's say he's an NFL guy or a basketball player. They don't have a long life in terms of sports. Right. And he's got no money. The money's been either stolen or squandered. So they're friends. That's the good news. The bad news is they've just totally dissipated everything. And this right. happens so much, and it's very sad to see it. Right. Well, it's, you know, it's one of this relationship thing. I remember talking to you, you know, when we were going through this book, and you said something. You said, by this time at our age, we should know who our partners are. Right. You know? And for the young people out there, you know, it's like marriage and all this. You kiss right. some frogs, and they, they don't turn into princesses and all those things. But by our age, I think our greatest asset are our partners. You know, I'll do a deal with a partner, whereas I don't, I'm sure you get solicited a lot. People will call me up and say, da 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 da. I said, yeah, but I don't know you. You know, how long is it going to take to get to know you? It's not worth it to me. Right. You know what I mean? Well, you know, I had an interesting case. And I'll use his name because he's a great guy and a great friend of mine. He's a fantastic guy. He owns the New England Patriots, Bob Kraft. And he showed up to my office sometime a few months ago. and. Just walked in, no appointment, no anything. I said, hey, Bob, what are you doing here? He said, I just came up to see you. I said, oh, I didn't know that. Let me see. No appointments. I said, oh, why'd you do that? He goes, you know, I'm at a point in my life, I'm very successful, I have a great team, I have money. I'm, I only like, like, certain people. And I only want to deal with people that I like. I want to sit with you, I want to sit with some others, but for the most part, I don't need to go and be with people that I don't want to be with or that I don't like and will never like. And I thought it was really cool. Right. I thought that was an experienced guy, tremendous guy. The job he's done with the New England Patriots has been amazing, one of the great sports franchises. But I tell the story because I never thought of it that way. He said, I don't need to be dealing with people that I don't want to be with. I want to be with you. I want to be with some others. And I thought it was very smart in thinking about it. Right. And so that's what the ring finger is. And <clears throat> as my friend, you have uh, guided me about my last partner and my last attorney. And uh, Mr. Trump has looked at my partners and my attorney and says, you better get new friends. And, you know, you've been very blunt about it, but it's also been useful, you know, because so many of us sometimes spend time with people that are in times valuable. I, I also want to say about that. So it's the ring finger.